see what's going on. I have Mr. Omar, when he see me with an engine block, he says, he's asking me all the time, tomorrow we're gonna be ready the engine. How the fuck we're gonna be ready tomorrow the engine? By the way, that's the engine block. That's the crank up bearing caps. That's the timing cover. Alpha, right? Yeah, alpha. And that's the bolts. The bolts, it's for checkup. Um, this is a used one. I'm not gonna use this one. I'm gonna put a new one, obviously. Okay. Yeah. That's the block here. That's the sleeves. Now, like I'm saying all the time, need to be checked. It, it's been pressed the sleeves inside, all right? Need to be checked that it's on the correct height because it's been resurfaced the block. Need to remove a couple of things. I need, not now, tomorrow, not now. I need this one, and I need also a file, and I need also what I'm talking about. You see this piece here? I've said this one a million times. This one, it goes away. It's very thin. This has to go away. It's very thin sometimes. This, it, even if you push it with your fingernail, it's cracking, it goes away. Um, like this one I'm talking about here. Where am I? I'm talking about this. Whatever I can remove, I will gonna remove it to don't be inside of the engine. All right. Yeah, now with one hand, what you're expecting? Same thing here. have to check here no here it's tricky other side tricky here need to clean it up so whatever it might come out it's better to come out now than to come out when you are closing the engine all right smooth a little bit the edges here example this I'm gonna file it it does matter but Again, whatever is ready to come out, it's much better to come out now and not later, like I said. Uh, another thing, I have to check the height, classic, from here up and then from here, here, and the same thing on the front cylinders to see that's equal. All right, with the classic way where I have it, uh, with, with this one, which one I have? This is no, this one on 195, I have to change this. I have to put the 98, yeah, and then let's make it all upside down. Make it upside down. Wow, that's the sleeves. All right. Need to measure also the cylinder, each cylinder. Need to check the surface to see that's flush. All right need to remove there is one here here you see this here okay it's not the final wash obviously obviously it's not the final wash all right that's written dart on sleeves over there what you see it's the same like that one it's not a sticker it's on the sleeve all right uh, what I was willing to say now Cylinders, deck, deck height, compare it, bank one and bank two. Uh, cranks are bearing caps. To see that's okay, that's the classic. And I don't remember how it's called in English. I need to make sure that all the small pieces from the casting, from the machining, the aluminum pieces, like what I showed you before here, it's mostly here to go away. Taking all the oil galleries. Check also here where it comes the oil jet. So need time. It's not about to, tomorrow. We're gonna spend all day taking the block. Not today. All right. All day tomorrow taking the block, and then at the end when I finish on the block, I, I will gonna make also the piece on my gap. I'll gonna go to wash again for final. Taking also the threads here inside from up for the studs to make sure that's okay. I'll gonna get, I have the studs actually. Uh, I saw you the cylinder heads on the previous video. All right, the studs, I have it here, the studs. Getting the studs, see that they're bottoming out. 
you are getting one stud. Actually, I have even a sample there in that box. Uh, I don't even have to open the, the nylon for now. Putting it, measuring it that it comes on the correct depth, that all of them are equal. For a couple of hundred of millimeter plus minus, one, two hundred of millimeter plus minus, it's acceptable. Keep in mind, the last time when I checked it, I didn't have any deviation, I didn't have any problem. But checking it because you never know. Ah, also, here, this is the oil return, here at this point. You see how it looks like inside? It's the oil return that comes from the cylinder head up to the, through the block here. For this one, I'll show you what I have. <clears throat> and that's why I haven't cleaned the floor yet, because now it's not the time to clean the floor. I have these brushes. Okay. So, I have also an adapter. What you're doing, you're coming here, you're putting it here, and then you just... And then it's just stuck inside. <laughs> Wait, I need a tool. <laughs> Let's get this one. Let's get this one. Then, yeah, need a little bit more. And then you clean the board. Even if I have to go more inside, I have also smaller. I don't have only this size. Make sure that everything is nice and clean. Also this one. Again, I will gonna do all these things. I'll gonna blow with air. Then that's why I have also the thick curtain here. Don't pass anything behind the curtain. All right. So taking care of these small details, get some measurements, wash it for final, and then start putting it together. It's not about because I get the block here inside the enzyme. This does mean that I'm going to be ready. It has to go again outside. What else? Nothing more. Nothing less. After that, before I start cleaning the floor. You see, it has some pieces here and there. Yeah, the epoxy goes away. Long time ago now. Yeah, it's not something new. And then start closing. I hope that I make myself clear. All right, Mr. Omar? Yep. That's it. Thank you very much. Over and out. Need to check also. The timing cover is clean. Looks like I clean it. I'll go clean it again. Inspect to see if it has any scratch or something. See that again. Crash bearing caps. Since I put it here, it's not rusty, no, nice. No, it doesn't look like nice with a one wire wool and a little bit WD-40. And then through the petrol, it's gonna be perfect. That's it. Over and out. Thank you.